Hi! Hello, it's me. Uh, bad news, I recorded about 15 minutes worth of a really hard raid and we fought tooth and nail very heroically and then OBS crashed and I lost like 20 minutes worth of footage. Today's episode is slightly shorter, you can send your complaints to the OBS Corporation. I if this isn't enough of me on a daily basis, uh, I upload daily on a second channel and then also me and uh, my girlfriend have another channel. You can go watch us scream at each other there. And then- It was fucked! It was hit by lightning! That's fairly fucked! No, on no, a scale no, no, of no, 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 things, no. not fucked to fucked! Being hit by lightning until it blows up is pretty fucked. I'll make tomorrow's episode five minutes longer to make up for it. Oh, speed. Oh, I love speed. Speed. My God, that is some seriously high quality speed. <laughs> Welcome once again, Rimrims, to this finely crafted, well-balanced nutritional bowl. Of shittle. And perhaps today it is appropriate the shittle finally becomes Sonic Speed. Because all that stands between us and victory. Well, I don't know if victory is the right word for it, all things considered. All that stands between us and escaping this planet is one lousy relic. Lousy being the operative word, given that that relic belongs to none other than shittle dirt. And hopefully throughout the course of this day we will track down this relic. And with that we will be able to begin the long pilgrimage to our... Eventual escape from this bloody place. Far beyond the seas of the stormy purple caribou. And far beyond the peaks of Buttermellow's jewel cliffs. We have our escape route. The landed ship. Or, honestly, any other way we decide to escape. There are other alternate routes. The goal was always just collect the relics and get out of here. We might even want to drop pod halfway. And while Shittle focuses on collecting the final relic. We haven't got the quest for that quite yet. So I don't want to jump the gun too soon. But while we focus on getting that final relic. We do want to make sure we have all of the travel supplies. Maybe we need to replace some people's armor because it's close to breaking. Now is pretty much the only time we're actually going to be able to do that. Actually, maybe some pack animals wouldn't hurt as well. Ah, oh, spined gals do count as a pack animal. So we're going to put out an all points bulletin on every tasty little gal. If we're heading out into this hell planet, we've got to head out prepared. Bear in mind, the average temperature on the way through is going to be up into the 80s. Not to mention that I don't really fancy settling in the horror waste or the mechanoid intrusion. Any final things we want to do, any bionics we want to wrap up, any magic powers, we've got to do it today. Now, you might remember many moons ago, I started, or at least tried to start legally down the path of psychic abilities. And the armor he's wearing now, in fact, has psychic bonuses to it. The big problem was, every time we started getting some animagrass, some sort of environmental effect, or Necron incursion, or Chaos Demon invasion would happen, and we'd lose it all. We got it to 16 at one point, and now we're all the way back down to 3, not to mention that legally is also... Our researcher. He's only really good at researching, so didn't have enough time to uh, crack on with the anima grass. But someone pointed out in the comments yesterday, there is the psionic class from Rim of Magic. It's basically the psychic powers I wanted for Legal Lee, except unlike base game remote psychic powers, they're actually useful. <laughs> is that heretical to say? I think what I probably should say is the RimWorld psychic powers from the base game are balanced for the base game. They're not balanced for a Necron army landing in the stockpile or literally infinite Tyranids. And then I was thinking, well, at that point, we've got Shittle and Remus, Joe, Nugget, Sue, and theoretically, legally, as mages. We've only got two characters left that wouldn't be at that point. What would suit them? And then it occurred to me, well, there's also a Technomancer... And a succubus. And given that the only two left over would be Robo Mummy the Deathbot and Arcadius the... Well, succubus. I feel like we could commit and go all out for everybody. So we already have two gems of Arcane Insight. We need one gem of Physical Insight for Legal Lee because the Sonic class counts as a physical character. And then with the Magically Gifted trait, all we have to do is get them to write this script and just pray that we get the class that we need early on. Otherwise, it's going to be spending a whole day in the quarry. Come on. Succubus. Oh, that doesn't look like a succubus at all. I'm not even sure I know what that is. Oh, it's a chaos mage again. Damn it. In that case, why don't I also queue up a couple of these as well? Because I have a feeling this is going to take us quite a long time to get what we want for everybody. And for Legal Lee, here is your physical gem. Still no Devil Strand, though, means that we are quite limited in what spells we can teach them. We miss out on all the really, really cool stuff. Oh, shit. Hang on. Not only can we not get any of the cool skills, but I don't think we can actually make him a martial character at all. We need 80 Devil Strand for the unfinished martial book. And I don't think a torn script allows you to... Yeah, look, use a trained mage. Damn it. Oh, would you look at that? We're already out of Magicite. If only there was some sort of staggeringly fast goblin capable of making 
a ridiculous amount of magicite. <laughs> you get the feeling that some of these mods are maybe a little bit too overpowered. I feel like calling Shizzle the Sin of Sloth anymore is completely misleading. Is there an animal incredibly fast but incredibly lazy? Okay then, round two for Arcadius. We're going to make him magical. And then we're going to get him to swallow down another arcane suppository. What is he now? He has nothing. What is that? Oh, is that a Technomancer? I think it very much is. And look at that. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so we need to make another... It, it's not exactly perfect, but it's good enough to... It, it doesn't make Arcadius the thing that we wanted to, sure. But it can make Robo Mummy the thing we wanted to make her. It's a very roundabout way to solve half of our problem. And by half our problem, I mean a third of our problem. Except for the Devil Strand. I've got a lot of problems, is what I'm getting at. Well, even though the guy's a complete novice, I've got Arcadius to write down all of his Technomancy secrets. And with that, Robo Mummy becomes the Technomancer of her dreams. Reject humanity, return to printer. Look at that. Bizarrely enough, that's kind of perfect for her character arc, because she was the sin of envy because she wanted to become a human. It was the one thing she didn't have. So returning to a machine, she's almost arguably got the only good character redemption purely based on their sin out of everybody wait no no no! don't use that one i want you to use the 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 shard of forgetfulness okay place your bets how many attempts is it going to take to turn arcadius into a dirty diddler attempt number three here we go he's another fucking technomancer <laughs> that should be illegal to get two of those in a row do we not have another shard of spirit extraction now damn it oh no wait silly me we keep it on the floor Next to the steel extractor. Attempt number four. Here we go. What is that? Is that it? Oh, I don't even know what this is. Uh, warlock. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Not what we were after, but quite cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. Look. Is that what I'm after? The final paragraph of the description there. Succubi and warlocks form distinct types of soul bonds. Is warlock the male version of succubus rather than incubus in that case i definitely need to go and look this up before i end up wiping out the one time that we might have actually got it oh yeah that's the one succubus and warlocks two sides of the same coin according to the room world of magic wiki all right good enough well that was easier than i thought it would be now all we need is devil strand and then everybody has some sort of unique class related to something i wanted to do with them oh shit <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any amount of magic powers is going to save us from wherever the hell these are landing. Uh, where are they landing? Hello? Oh, what was that? Where are they? Where are they? Hello? Oh, no. I mean, it could have been a lot, lot worse. This is still bad. Ooh. This is still bad. But if it had landed right in the center of the base, I probably would have cried. Oh, was that it? Oh, well, that was easy. Wow, we didn't even lose a single wind turbine from that. What the hell? That was great. Do my eyes deceive me? Little shittle dissel. Your artifact is ready, my friend. Seven out of seven. Gracie's peace talks get in the bin. Farming sites get in the bin. Do I want to go and have a meeting with Lady Cock? No, I do not. I'm here for Bone Idol. <gasps> Devil Strand. I'll take the lot. Thank you. They've also got something called Winged Boots, which I'm absolutely buying as well. Probably should have checked what those did. Uh, Winged Boots. They allow you to leap very long distances. I seem like a jump pack then. I guess we'll give that to somebody who doesn't yet have Blink. We can't make any more Blink scrolls quite yet because we don't have enough cotton. Well, it's just grown, but we don't have enough quite yet. Here you go, little nugget. Have some Winged Boots. And those are just... Oh, yeah, leap. Oh, wait. Oh, well, that's not very good at all. Oh, my God. They go on cooldown for ages. Friendship ended with cabbages. Devil Strand is my new best friend. I hope these bloody gals don't eat my Devil Strand. I haven't got anywhere else to keep the gals. Oh, my poor frame rate. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on up here? Hello. <gasps> what is that thing? Look at you. There's two of them. Okay, we've got demons fighting what I can only assume is... A bunch of people. Uh, the dreamers of day off her. Oh, God. Turrets, please don't aggro them. No, no, no. This is an hour fight. Let's see if we can get someone over there to turn these off fast. Chittle is speed. Chittle can do it. Chittle, I need you to run very fast and then get the hell out of there. Oh, God. Stop, 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 stop. I don't want to fight both of these factions. Chittle is speed. Look at him go. Place your bets on whether or not I remember to turn those back on before the next raid turns up. 
Oh, you can't turn the mechanoid ones off? Okay. They have a battery level. Oh, well, that's going to make it problematic. It's all kicking off. And the worst part is the most advanced weapon in the whole thing is a bow and arrow. This is probably going to take quite a few hours. Maybe the giant demons will have some sort of attack. They can shoot mortar shells from their mouth. Okay, that will certainly speed things up. Ah, uh, no way. Is that... <laughs> that is insane. Don't get me wrong. I am really glad I built lasers all over the base at this point. But is there not enough going on already? Holy crap. I love that the hell planet is slowly devolving more and more into hell. Just when you thought it was bad enough. They're fleeing. Holy crap, we barely even started on them. Wow, they've taken out every single turret. Oh my god, there's two remaining there. One is on fire though. Well, the turrets did their job, but I can't afford that every single raid. I think we'll probably just go ahead and cancel those. Maybe swap them out with just sentry turrets or something a bit more simple. Oh my god, it's 350 steel, 40 plastic, and six components each, and we lost like nine of them. My god, I think we're in the clear now. We've just got to rebuild the entire base. No, no worries. Are you guys going out there to go and kill them too? That's fine, I suppose. On the plus side, it's all really, really good XP, and everybody has a class now besides the legal lease, so... I mean, that's great. Experience is experience. Oh, it's one of those days where it's just bad thing after bad thing. Hang on, it said unknown ship part impacts. <gasps> Two things at once? Well, that's illegal. Now, because of Fat Larry's sacrifice, we know from experience that these things do not fuck around. If we kill them and they're too close, we're gonna get nuked. So here's the plan. We're gonna position everybody dangerously close to them. And their only protection is uh, <laughs> a layer of sandbags. But I'm pretty sure that will stop the anti-grain warheads lodged in these androids. Oh my god, are you joking? Is that the first shot? Uh, okay, shittle. I'm gonna need you to jump fast. Uh, on the plus side, it might only be one explosion, so their bodies will hopefully not get incinerated. Ah, oh, shit. What a fucking joke. Sue's going to be upset that effectively three of her dads have died over the course of two episodes. Who's got the most range? Because we can't even get close to these things. Well, Remus is out because they're androids. General Joe is out because you can't poison a fucking android. I think it might actually be down to Nugget here with the Frost Ray. Because that thing's actually got a pretty damn good range to it. Let's pop around the corner and see if we can finish off this raid with her. Alright. Hey, piss off. Please. Okay, that's another one down. Hey, please leave. Oh, God. I hate this. What if they explode, though, and take out the bodies? We can't fight them here, because if they explode there, they're going to kill... They'll permanently take out Shittle and Arcadius. Nugget, Nugget, Nugget. Please, 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 please. Just leave. This is where they step on one of the bloody traps and blow up. <laughs> okay, that should be safe. Our people can cow behind the wind turbines. And they can take the brunt of the explosion. Some of them may not have black boxes installed. That's also probably worth worth checking. But I'm not going to go to the health tab of every single friggin' raider to see if it's safe to kill them. I wonder if that android coolant counts as... Counts as blood. We might be able to ignite them with Remus. I'm also still going to take it very carefully. Because if I lose anyone else, I'll, I'll cry. Oh, they're fleeing. They're fleeing. Nice. Okay, now what about ones that are downed but not dead? Uh, are there any down but not dead? There is one back here. I mean, if they blow up, it's not a big deal. These things suck. They broke all of Shittle and Arcadius' armor is completely broken. Good lord. Well, let's very quickly throw down another coffin in the freezer so that we can get Arcadius and Shittle buried fast. Uh, Robert Mummy, let's get you burying... One of them. Doesn't really matter who at this point. And now all I've got to do is make another armor set. And to be fair, we weren't going to have Shittle collect his own relics anyway. So the two relic quests that we've got related to his are fine to pretty much start with. In fact, Shittle lying down comfortably in a freezer for a few days while we collect his relic for him is very on brand. I hope it doesn't reset their magic progress. Granted, neither Shittle or, Ar or Arcadius got very far with it, but... That would suck. And we might as well have the double funeral as well, treated as a, a free mood boost at the cost of some pretty massive inconvenience. 
Okay, good start. And then we'll have the second one. Oh, well, that's okay. It's a mood boost overall. We traded two of our key characters for plus two mood. Brilliant. This better not be another raid. Oh, thank God. Now, to be honest, I feel like two hasn't really done a huge amount. To say there was a lot of build up to actually getting her. Not to mention, I still haven't really found a chaos combination of hers I really like. Refraction, consume corpse, blink. No, see, this one isn't very good either. Light skip, though, I think is the thing that lets us teleport to... Uh, I think it lets us teleport around the world map, or is that a different one entirely? Oh, yeah, look at that. Rank 2, global light skip, global. AoE around caster, so we can take Sue and a bunch of other people to wherever we want in the world. I don't know the range of that. Just reduces the energy cost. I imagine it's probably the same as a transport pod. Do we want to turn one of our potentially most versatile characters into a glorified transport pod? Absolutely not. I could just build transport pods for that. Okay, that looks a lot better for sending her out to go and claim Shittle's relic. Seeing as she doesn't have a relic of her own and Shittle is very, very lazy. So we have an ancient complex, which we'll go to uh, right away. Well, that'll take all about 30 seconds. Gals can carry 116 kilograms. Wow. I'm not a real big fan of running a mage with random unupgraded abilities, especially when, ooh, we've seen some of the um, mechanoid cupboards. Let's turn off fire at will if that's all right. Oh God. Okay. That sucks. Because that one, we are going to have to fight our way through. Are these all going to wake up? There's no way she can do this by herself. We're going to have to send him reinforcements again. Mechanoids will wake up in one hour. That's why we're going to run away very, very fast. Um. Well, something's going on in there. <laughs> Holy shit, the mechanoids were killed? What is in this room then, I wonder? No pressure, you three, but this is the final relic. Everything relies on this. What if we... See if we can wake up bots in here. Maybe get them to fight one another. Ah, <gasps> oh, what the hell is even that thing? I don't even know what that is. Is there any way we can get them to fight? And then we just come in and snipe the terminals. Uh, let's do one of these. Hello. Don't mind Remus. Oh, you moron. I left on fire at will. Okay, here's a plan. Crack the door open. Run through. Run through. No, no, no. Run through. Run through. Run through remus keep going that's it don't stop keep going my god this is frustrating well that'll do it uh i think he may die shit nice nice oh my god it worked perfectly okay now we're gonna we're gonna haul ass <laughs> what did lake only just say well it seems to be working pretty well all the mechanoids are dead are they gonna go for the other ones uh, why aren't they waking up? Let's see if we can just poke these. Ah, oh, there we go. That'll do it. And then I'm sure these three can kill the survivors pretty easily. We'll put the backs up here, and then we'll have somebody hack this terminal, which is blocked by a friggin' barrel. What is going on? Um. I'm, I'm scared. I'm deeply, deeply unnerved by this. Guess it's just a minor earthquake. Don't worry about it. These things happen, okay? Just a little bit of a shaky occasion. Ooh. Oh, God, I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, you two line up there. Uh, they like, zap it now. Now you can fire at will, for God's sake. Uh, behind you? Remus, Remus, kill it. Oh, that terminal's all webbed up. What a horrible time. These ancient complexes used to be so easy and fun, and now it's just horror behind every door. Freedom. Get out of there. Well, Shittle's back, and he killed the rumor in the process. <laughs> and Arcadius is back too. There we go. Now all I have to do is build them a full set of armor again. Ah. Hello there. Now I've got a bit of a quandary, because Shittle is our best hacker, but we did say we wouldn't have Shittle collect his own relic, so... Legal Lee, your time to shine, my friend. And another one already. There we go. Can't help but notice we've got uh, got some company coming in. Oh, God. Some more corpus victims. Oh, I honestly kind of feel bad for these guys because they're not going to put up a fight. I, I feel like we're just doing them a favor, actually. Don't worry. It'll, it'll be over soon. Oh, God. They were people ones. <laughs> that's it. Come on, line up one at a time. And that's another raid already because Legal Lee took his... Sweet, sweet time. Oh, it's super mutants. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, hang on. 
Well, that one has about Larry's golden shell. How dare you dishonor his memory like this. Remus, incinerate them. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh, okay, that might be a little bit too brave even for Remus. Oh, you didn't have a gun? You two go and get your frigging guns. Good Lord. Shouldn't be my responsibility to babysit these morons all the time. Well, I mean, it is. It's, it's the whole point of the game. Let that be a lesson about trying to use Fat Larry against me. Who knows? Maybe that was Fat Larry. Maybe he teleported out the last moment and got mutated. I'm only kidding, of course. That would never happen to Fat Larry. Fat Larry is dead. Back already? That was fast. Ooh, look at that one. Super Mutant Behemoth. That's a Fat Larry if I've ever seen one. There you go. Thank you, Legal Lee. Oh, God, the Grove. As if General Joe didn't have reason to hate Legal Lee enough. My God. So that is quest number two done. And right there is quest number three. Do you ever think the villages are completely empty because all the insects in the complexes have eaten them all? Finally, some real armor. It's 11,000 research though, holy crap. Arcadius is more or less re-equipped again. I've given him some mage gear because he's a, a warlock or an incubus or whatever you want to call him. I am also making him some of this Perja exosuit. But it takes so long to build. Bear in mind, Arcadius right now is working with like 300% work speed, something like that. Fat Larry died with the fancy belt, so we don't have that anymore. But even this, I think we're going to be off this bloody planet before he finishes his damn armor. And Shittle. Shittle's just hanging out. Unfortunately for Legal Lee in more ways than... More ways than one. Oh, and speaking of hanging out... What the fuck? <laughs> Anyone have any idea what a worm in Wharton Moth is? To continue on with the, um, reward bingo card, Attack of the Killer Purple Moths that are stronger than centipedes was, was definitely not on there. Well, that was, that was something. I don't even know what you're supposed to be. Reject Mage, return to Dolphin. Imagine dressing up in all this fancy gear made out of fancy materials when you could just be a dolphin. And the best part is this is a pretty big upgrade for Shissel too, because that other helmet was just a regular dolphin power armor helmet painted blue. This is the prestige version. Shittle's final form right there. I mean, I suppose he could wear a magical cape as well. RPG wielding dolphin goblin bard wizard is really not what I had in mind. Have any of you ever noticed that this is a really silly game? Another ancient complex. Now, I'm not going to make the mistake this time of only sending one person. I've seen things in cupboards that no Rim Rim should ever have to see. Well, that's a great bloody start. <laughs> Remus, if you could uh, kindly get this crate out of our way. Oh. Oh, no. Cursed Rimworld. Very cursed Rimworld. Okay, then, see if this will unfold. Fog the... Ah, there we go. More spiders. Not really too bothered about spiders, I won't lie. Was that an infestation here? Oh. Okay, uh, go hack that terminal fast. Legally. My god, some of the other ones make this one look like child's play. Kind of miss the cupboards filled with giant insects. Well, I mean, we've got that... We've already got that chance. Uh, maybe... Maybe you want to leave? Oh, god. I wasn't expecting them to spawn in there fast. Come on. Snowball. Oh, that wasn't very good. Uh, maybe maybe we start running. Be careful with that fucking laser gun, Remus. Good lord. You okay, Legal Lee? Oh, he's fine. Just a little beat up. <laughs> Easy peasy. There you go. I thought it's probably long overdue that we deal with whatever the hell this thing is. It's just that the last time we cracked one of these open, it almost ended the game. I've got Remus to do a bit of a blood sacrifice around it, put a little bit of blood down, but that's as much as I could throw. I guess we'll put down a lightning cloud. And then I guess we'll get Shittles to open things up here and see what we're dealing with. Um. Hello? Was that not enough damage? Are you kidding? Okay, Remus. Uh, let's hit with one of these. That'll wake him up. Oh. <laughs> or it was an empty ship the entire time. Well done, squad. Ah. Oh. I think that is our final quest. It is. Remember, this is Shittle's Relic. So, once again, Legal Lee's up. Two, one. Hello. More super mutants per chance. Oh, it actually is as well. Why is it only super mutants that come for this quest? I don't understand. I mean, I'm not complaining because out of all of the difficult quote-unquote raids, this is definitely the easiest one going. And with that, we have our final relic. And also more blown up wind turbines, but... Just kind of come to expect that at this stage. And there's nothing here. I sent Shittle along to this one, uh, fully with the intention of having him stand there and do nothing. 
I'm not even going in to pick up the relic. Someone else can pick up Shittle's relic, because Shittle just doesn't get- There is actually nothing here at all. Wow. Let's just breathe this moment in. It's been a long journey getting from there to here. Seven relics, two key huge deaths. And there was that other guy that crucified the crap man at all, but I don't really remember his name. All leading up to this, the final of our seven relics, and with it, our journey away from this hell planet. Nugget, if you would do us the honors and extract Shittle's bone. I'm going to be honest, I don't even want the relic at this stage. And there it is. The final relic, all safe and secure. I'm not going to paint the reliquary. I've tried to paint all the others, you know, depending on their theme, their sin. Shittles is just going to stay a nice lead color. And that was the easy part. Now all we've got to do is make it halfway across the planet, whichever way we'd like to, to get over to this landed ship, survive for 15 days against, well, everything we've seen but worse. And try not to get anybody killed in the process. Well done, team. Let's have one last celebration before we head out there. A final celebration dedicated to Romulus, Fat Larry, and all the others that died to collect these worthless, worthless artifacts. So tomorrow, we'll come up with a game plan for actually getting over there, whether we want to drop pod halfway, whether we want to try and reroll Sue until she gets some sort of teleport magic to get us over there, or whether we just want to load up the gals a bit more carefully, take a load of supplies things that we might need for when we get there and take the long ass journey over to the ship. And then after that, we survive. Or maybe we die, probably the latter. But we're almost there. And they're almost free. And the important part is, they've all suffered significantly. And at the end of the day, that was really all I was worried about. I wanted to make sure these people suffered for what they'd done in the game up to this point and suffered they definitely, definitely have. With the exception of Shittle, who I think has actually thrived. Thank you to... Mr. Moma, Grill Bears, Quiss, Zevenwolf, Sir Wigglesworth, Emily, Mathanius, Yellow, Udric, Eluvion, Mishap, Elias, Viva La Fight Me, Sign Mortar, Ziggy117, and Biv for their support of the executive producer tiers over at Patreon. Thank you guys for your support over there. Thank you as well to Yolgi, Smirt One, Freakin' Satan, Pim, Angry Ares, Punky Brew, Asaro, Oracle, My Sweaty, Rimrim, Rim, Proper Banter, Abacus, Fatigable, Coldest Flame, Victor Rays, Lego Red Dragon, Zesty, Wifty, and Epilogue, appropriately, for their support over on Patreon as well. And thank you at home for watching.